What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You are watching MC Kid, and today we're back in the official Greenville Discord server, taking a look at some more Greenville future updates right before this update comes out. Hopefully, hopefully, the update will be out today, because uh, then I can make a video tomorrow or another video today or whatever. I don't know why I'm making this video and uploading it right now, because <laughs> there's probably going to be a video this week before the end of September, but. This is where we ended off last time on the uh, Chevy El Camino or Chevy Chevelle. But next up, uh, we actually have flashlights. I'm not sure when you would really need it. I guess police could use it to search around at night and everything. Honestly, I'm not really sure the purpose for it, but I guess that's pretty cool. And now you have GVOS is now portable which means it's like ios on iphones you can put it your greenville is basically gonna have phones now so that's pretty cool hopefully people don't hopefully they don't ruin the game like um some other games and hopefully it's like southwest florida i think those phones are probably the best um the best phones in games on roblox and then we have a 2018 to 2021 Tesla Model 3 remodel with new lights and a tune. These are the standard long range and performance models. Looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if I would really buy it because Tesla isn't really my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people who would, and that's pretty sick. Fiction Lame is the Celestial Type 4. And then we have a limited Tesla Truckla. And if you guys aren't familiar with the truck lab, I've talked about it in past videos, but basically someone took a Tesla Model 3 and literally chopped the back off and converted it into a truck. So that's pretty sick. It, um, I believe, it, yeah, so will be a limited edition car, and that's the Celeste truck. That's pretty awesome. And then we have the 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 remodel. You have a bunch of different trims. You have the work truck, single work truck crew, custom, custom TB double, custom TB crew, LT crew, RST crew, redline crew, <clears throat> LT TB crew, LTZ crew, high country crew, and a fictional 454 SS trim. So you now have a bunch of new trims, 22 different rims to choose from. You also have updated lighting, realistic 0 to 60 times, new tunes, and new sounds. I think the version I would definitely buy would be the High Country or the 454 SS. Maybe the Red Line, probably not. Or just the Work Truck for fun, or the Custom Trail Boss. That, those ones would be pretty sick, but... Yeah, this is definitely a much-needed re remodel in the game. And then we have the 2021 Infiniti QX50. These are the pure front-wheel drive, essential all-wheel drive, and the autograph all-wheel drive trims. Not a car I'm interested in, but a car that's definitely... A car that will definitely be nice in-game for role plays. Then we have the 2022 Hyundai Tucson SE or Hyundai Tucson SE, SEL, Blue, Hybrid, and Limited. This is, uh, the end line will come later on in the game. This is the Tuscany Maricopa. Definitely a car I'll be buying, 100%. I don't care how much it is, and it shouldn't really be too much, but I will definitely be buying this thing. This thing looks sick. I, I love the new Tucson refresh. It, it's so awesome. And now... We actually have, or will have, a driver's license in-game, so I think that's pretty sick. I'm not sure how it'll work. You probably have to go to the DMV and get your license and everything, and it'll probably be a whole process, but that is very, very cool, and it'll definitely make RPing, um, getting pulled over and everything much, much more realistic. Then we have the 2012 Volvo C70. These are the T5, T5 Premier Plus, T5 Platinum, and T5 Inscription trims. You have four different rims, and this is a convertible, so the interior ch changes based on the trim. 
you can see here. Again, not a car I'm interested in, but a car that, another convertible that's pretty sick to have in the game. I haven't really seen any new convertibles in the game, so I hope they add some new convertibles. Like the R8 and the, um, Huracan. Those are definitely some of my favorite, will probably be some of my favorite convertibles in game. And then we have the 2021 Dodge Durango, which I have been waiting for for so long. Now, I'm not a big fan of Dodge, Dodge, but the Durango, the new Durango is so nice. So we have the SXT, SXT Plus, GT, GT Plus, RT, Citadel, SRT392, and SRT Hellcat trims. 100% will be buying the SRT Hellcat trim and the Citadel trims. I'm so excited for this, and Hunter is even surprised that um, this guy, Sky, was able to make it, because there isn't even a blueprint for this thing, so he must have made it from scratch, which is sick. Then we have the 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5, which is definitely a long-awaited car, car that, um, I've wanted to see for a long time. Ever since I drove it in Pembroke Pines, I've definitely wanted it in Greenville for a long time. We have the SE, SEL, and Limited trims. This will definitely be another car I will be driving. I'm not a big fan of electric cars, as you guys know, but I can definitely see myself driving this thing pretty often. And then we have the 2016 Buick Regal Sedan or Wagon in the base premium and gs trims you can see the wagon is the european spec and these sedans are the american spec i believe i might buy this thing likely not because maybe the wagon i think the wagon would be the version i'm more interested in versus the sedan since i have seen multiple sedans before but i've never seen the wagon in real life before so i think that would be a pretty sick car to own and drive around depending on how fast it is and then we also have the amazing 2022 kia carnival now i don't know if you guys know how much i like this 22 2022 kia carnival but this is 100 percent my favorite kia ever made and i've been waiting for this thing to be added to greenville since the day the carnival came out this thing is so awesome we have the LX, LXS, EX, SX, and X, SX Prestige package, or SX Prestige. 100% will be buying the SX Prestige. I'm, I'm just so happy this thing is finally being added into the game. Definitely a car I'll probably be driving 24-7. And then we have the 2011 Saab 9-5 new generation. There are four trims, Turbo 4, Turbo 4 Premium, uh, Turbo 6, and Aero, with seven rim options. Probably a car I will be buying. There aren't very many Sobs in-game right now, so this will definitely be a nice car to have in Greenville, and definitely a car I will be buying. Then we have the 2017 Chrysler 200 that was completely remodeled. Uh, you get a new model, tune, sounds, and a total of three front-wheel drive trims and five all-wheel drive trims. You have 11 rims, and you can see you actually have a pink trim, too. The only other car in Greenville with a pink trim is the Lexus... I believe it's the RX, the 2014 Lexus RX. That's the only other car with a pink trim in Greenville, so... The Chrysler 200 is definitely not a car I'll be buying in Greenville. Maybe the pink trim, just for some trolls here and there, but definitely not a car I'll be buying. And finally, the 2022 Volvo C40 Recharge. This is another car that, since it came out, not as much as the Kia Carnival, but I have wanted this in Greenville, I will say. I've driven it in Pembroke Pines before, Pembroke Pines doesn't have the best driving dynamics or physics as Greenville does, but the lighting and everything on this thing is like top notch, so definitely excited and probably will buy this thing depending on how much money it is. If it's too much, then 
I won't buy it because I will definitely be broke from all of the other cars in this update. But with that said though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you just smash the like button, please consider subscribing. Uh, go join the Discord server, Ramskirk fan server, link will be in the description and in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.